side. Without objection. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in opposition to the patients' rights repeal bill, and I find it absolutely regrettable that my Republican colleagues have made this their first priority of the new Congress. Rhode Islanders sent me here with a clear purpose, to create jobs, strengthen our economy, and reduce the federal deficit. Those are the issues we need to address, and doing so, so should be our first order of business and our top priority. Instead, we're considering a bill that will increase already skyrocketing health care premiums for Rhode Island families and businesses, give insurers back the power to deny or drop coverage when people get sick, and raise the deficit by an additional $230 billion over the next 10 years and over $1 trillion the decade after that. Pressing the reset button on health reform will not only bring uh, our progress toward affordable and accessible health care to a screeching halt, it will force us to repeal the rights of patients and rescind tax breaks to the very small businesses that fuel our economy. I urge my colleagues to oppose this bill and join me in getting to work on the people's priorities, job creation, economic innovation, and deficit reduction. We have come such a long way. We've already seen the benefits of health care reform in covering children with existing conditions, allowing adult children to stay on their uh, parents' health care uh, coverage, eliminating uh, the uh, uh, yearly and lifetime caps. These are major steps forward in health care reform, and all that goes away if we re repeal uh, this uh, health care law that we've seen put into effect. Uh, please oppose uh, this uh, uh, Republican uh, bill that's before us today. Thank you, and I yield back the balance of my time. General's time has expired. General from